So Great Britain will be led at the start by Libby Clegg and Chris Clark, her guide. They'll go from lane seven on the outside, so they'll need to make a sharpish start. Difficult from that lane because you're trying to set the pace. You don't know what's behind you. Organised chaos, I like to call these type of things. And it's wonderful to watch. For the USA, taking them out, we know I'm alone. Silver in the T12 100 and silver in the T12 400 here as well. Medium visual impairment. There is Lu Ku Quing, the T11 category visually impaired athlete. The silver in the 100, a gold in the 400. And Japan will be led off by Sawada Uran going from lane one. So just to remind you again, visually impaired will take the opening leg, amputees in the second, coordination impairment in the third leg, and wheelchair races will take leg number four. Two men and two women in any order you like. Finishing with those wheelchair athletes and taking it home for the Chinese will be Zhang Ying, who you just saw. So they'll just get themselves sorted. The tether being sorted out there. There are three T11 athletes going in the start here. Malone, a T12 for the United States, running without a guide. <laughs> away they go, and as you'd expect, it's Malone who gets away fastest of all, and he's already up on the inside of Libby Clegg. So the USA looking really strong at the moment. Luku Qing is up there for China, and Malone hands over to Brittany Mason, who's taken silver here in the 100 metres T47. But Johnny Peacock is absolutely rocketing down that back straight for Great Britain. And it's into the hands of Nick Mayhew now, who's taken gold in the 100. He's taken silver in the 400. He's set a 200 metres world record. And he looks for Tatiana McFadden of the United States, the T54 athlete who's got a load of golds to her name, 14 World Championship golds, seven para golds. Make that number eight as Tatiana McFadden goes across the line. China takes second and a new world record of 45.52 seconds for the United States who add the Paralympic title to their world champions title they took back in 2019. And they take away the world and Paralympic mark that was set by China earlier today. You just don't know where to look, do you? <laughs> Nick Mayhew, so quick. And uh, McFadden finishing off. Knows how to finish a race, doesn't she? But that's, that's really exciting. That's the, the combinations uh, are dazzling, really. You're not, it's, it's very hard to keep on top of the race. Well, Nick Mayhew set a 200-metre world record in qualifying for the final in his heat just a bit earlier. He took victory in the 100 metres, setting a world record in that. He took silver in the 400 metres, and he's been an absolute star of these Paralympics. China, except the silver medal, hugs all round for the Americans. McFadden, that's her first gold. She's had a silver in the 800 metres and a bronze in the 5,000. That's eight Paralympic golds now for Tatiana McFadden, with the marathon still to come, to add to her 14 World Championship golds. And you've got someone like Nick Mayhew, who's just starting off in the sport. Johnny Peacock and Libby Clegg give each other a hug. They took up the bronze medal. But it's all about the United States. An absolutely incredible world record. Well, they get away, and Noah Malone absolutely flew out of the box. You can go in any order you want as far as male and female, but Malone got off to a flyer. Brittany Mason.
took up the second leg and Johnny Peacock on the left of the screen there was absolutely flying. Nick Mayhew from there, that was it. Once Nick Mayhew got into his stride up against Ali Smith, the USA were in front. And McFadden, she was being chased down by Zhang Ying towards the end, the 21-year-old. But he couldn't get to her. Did his best, did Zhang. But McFadden, well, that's a new one for her. a Paralympic medal in the 4x100. The first time this event has been held at the Paralympic Games, and it's the United States who pick up the gold medal at the first time of asking. And quite appropriate that Tatiana McFadden is the one who brings it home. She's done so much for the sport. She's now a gold medalist in a world record time of 45.52 in the 4x100 metres universal relay. Well, Great Britain will be happy with that performance. European record of 47.50. Russian Paralympic Committee were the European champions heading into this. They didn't make it through to the final. So European hopes fell with Great Britain. Just have a look at this again, though. Nick Mayhew, for me, has been one of the top three. Watch him just yelling at McFadden. Look at that. As <laughs> if she needs telling. <laughs> wonderful. He's just got such enthusiasm. He does. And in a very nice way. It's not an arrogant way about it. It's just a, a young person's way of expressing themselves and just really loving what they do. That lady loves what she does as well. World record for the United States then. They take the gold in the four by 100 meters relay. 45.52 is the mark for the four athletes from the United States of America.